Uh, hey there guys, this is Bruce Goldberg from Gadget Geeks and today I'm going to tell you how to uh, root your Galaxy S3. So, it is an easy tutorial, so what, uh, if how, before uh, you see how to root, if you have some frequently asked questions in your mind, please check them. It says, uh, I still don't have the root. Uh, if you still don't have the root after this tutorial, you uh, should try uh, installing the latest version of Super SU in uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Does the root method erase my settings and apps? No, it doesn't. <coughs> root does not delete your stuff. Okay, and the question is uh, Odin does not start in my computer. What do I do? Sometimes various programs and drivers interface with Odin and try closing, killing apps and other programs before running the program. So, uh, or try on a different USB port first. If that doesn't work, just try another computer. The next question is, I ended up in kernel panic mode. What do I do? Relax, that's some um, as Odin download mode. That's same as Odin download mode. Simply run the Odin again, flash the files again, and it will work. Does rooting break my phone any in any way? No, this does not break your phone. Actually, um, rooting does not change uh, your <coughs> Galaxy S3 scripts except the custom recovery and gives you root. So everything else on phone will stay the same. Can I still get the OTA updates after rooting? Yes, you can, but you have to install stock recovery again. So this was it. Uh, if you have any questions, <coughs> that was most probably answered in that FAQ. So, <coughs> uh, the main tutorial starts here. Step 1. Down button and power off button when your device is switched off. So, after you switch off your device, press home button, volume down button and power button together until you see this screen. This one. And once you're on this screen, press the volume up button to uh, refocus it. Volume up button, and you will see the download, downloading mode. And the next thing you need to do is connect your device to USB uh, to computer, and then you need to get back to the Odin. So once you uh, connect your device uh, with computer and put in downloading mode, you uh, first of all make sure you have the correct USB drivers uh, and if you are not sure you have, please check down the description. I have a video link there how to install uh, Samsung USB drivers and believe me you need that to work it correctly and if you don't have you may um, <coughs> mess up with the phone so you don't want to do that please check the video and download proper USB drivers before continuing and once you install correct USB drivers second step would be to extract the zip file and you will see three files here just open the Odin and if you are connected properly you should see here 0 space com 3 or any com port but you should see it as yellow color okay and what you need to do is press the PDA button and select the file uh, the tar file cf root sgs3 version 6.4.tar and press start button once you press start button uh, mm, you will see a progress bar here and it will start to fill up and once it will take around 10 to 15 seconds and once it completes, um, I guess uh, your phone will reboot and you will be rooted. To confirm uh, your root access, you can check the um, application named as uh, root checker in the Play Store. You can get in the Play Store. If you want to get that, uh, there's a link down there in the description. Please check that and make sure you have the proper root access. And I hope you root it successfully and enjoy as much as possible with your root device, new root device. So I hope uh, you get it. And if you have any questions, please do 
leave a comment and I'll try to answer them. So this is me Pushka Dua from Gadget Geeks signing off.